Prince Harry's book has Prince William most upset, while King Charles wants things to calm down. In the wake of the publication of his younger brother's memoir, a source said that Prince William needs time to cool down. Although his family has been silent and public over Prince Harry's memoir, there have been heated reactions behind the scenes. Prince William is particularly disturbed by the claims made in his younger brother's book, a source close to the royal family says people in this week's cover story. Prince Harry described Prince William as his arch-adversary and said that William had physically attacked him in the movie Spare, which came out last month. The source claims that William is the most upset and needs some time to collect himself. He has been depicted as brash and callous. But I don't believe he will back down, the question is whether they can get past it and recognize that they have different perspectives. According to Courtier's author and royal writer Valentine Lowe, William will be enraged at the betrayals of confidences. In the meantime, King Charles III is anxious for things to cool down before his coronation on May 6. The person close to the royal family claims. Charles would want his son to be at the coronation to witness it. It is such an important occasion. Harry should return to the family, in his opinion. If they don't resolve it, it will always be associated with the king's rule and the way he divided his family. He has a history of being viewed as an absentee parent, and it would be terrible for him if that continued. There are rumors that Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury who married Harry and Meghan and will preside over the coronation service, was chosen to serve as a mediator between the opposing groups. Welby is close to the couple and, as a close source points out, if he could reunite the family members, that is what he would want to do, despite reports that Charles had previously instructed him to contact the Sussexes. Apart from Charles's paternal desire to see his son again, royal historian Robert Lacey writes that, one of the jobs of the royal family is displaying how to cope with the challenges we all experience in a compassionate and sensible way. Future family prosperity will not necessarily come from reconciliation, but rather from accepting one another's priorities and perspectives. In another news, rugby player Mike Tindall needs to fuel up, thus his diet is different from that of his wife Zara. Rugby professional Mike Tindall, 44, must unquestionably adhere to a regimented diet. Express.co.uk was given an explanation from an expert. In 2003, Mike Tindall won the Rugby World Cup. He is also married to Zara Tyndall, a trained professional athlete. That the royal couple leads a healthy lifestyle is therefore very likely. Simone Thomas, the company's creator, discussed the activities that the father of three enjoys participating in with Express.co.uk. Mike Tyndall had a great career as a professional rugby player, and word has it that he still plays his favorite game today with a local side, even though he retired in 2011, the speaker alleged. I would expect that in order to achieve this, he still needs to maintain his level of fitness, and I have no doubt that he will meet up with his teammates for both training sessions and gameplay. I think Mike plays golf. He frequently appears at charity events, and I recently saw him talking about golfing and making it a sport for younger generations on his Instagram account. It demonstrates how he is influencing young kids through sport and we need more of this he can also be seen riding a bike as part of the Parkinson's challenge, and those hills would have required a lot of practice to climb. All of this points to him being interested in sports and fitness, so I can assume that he jams his days with exercise to stay in shape. The expert clarified whether or not Mike will be able to stay active as he nears his mid-40s, with the support of Mia, Lena, and Lucas Tyndall.